Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, David Madden, Market Analyst here at CMC Market. And today's date is Wednesday, the 20, 21st of February, and the time has just gone 11.25 a.m. UK time. And this week's Chart of the Week is Glencore Rick Strata, the mining company. We start off by looking at the, the stock on a weekly chart to get a big view of what's been going on with the share price action over the past few years. So this major decline in share price that we saw here in 2015, which ran into early 2016, this was the height of the commodity route uh, when the, the traders were concerned about the mineral demand from, from, from China. We saw a sell-off in, in, in commodities and in turn the, the, some of the commodity companies such as Glencore Strata took a severe hit. Since then, Glencore have actually gone down the route of uh, selling off non-core assets, raising capital and actually paying down debt. That, combined with a rebound in commodity prices, has also assisted Glencore's profitability uh, in, in the last couple of years. Speaking of profitability, Glencore today posted their, quote, best figures yet uh, in, in, terms of their, their corporate, in terms of their corporate earnings. Profits were higher, return to shareholders were higher, and the and net debt was trimmed. So everything from a fundamental point of view is continued to turn around for Glencore. Taking a look at the share price action over the last couple of years, since the, since the end of the route in uh, early 2016, we can see it's been in a classic example of an upward trend. So a classic example of higher highs and higher lows. In fact, the high that was reached here, uh, £4.16, there, 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 thereabouts, uh, in January of this year was the highest level seen since 2013. So it was a five-year high which was recently created on the share price of Glencore. So it gives you an indication of how much the stock has come on in the last few years. Taking a look now here on a daily chart, we can see a better you can get a better view of what's been going on over the last few months. So this price here that was reached in the end of last month was the highest seen in five years. But Glencore, like other stocks, were caught up in, in the global equity market sell-off of the, of the, of recent, in the recent weeks. So after creating a five-year high, the share price was dragged lower with a sell-off in, in global stock markets. As the price was pushing lower, we saw a steady increase on the MACD uh, indicator, the MACD histogram here, in negative momentum. So as the price was moving lower, that was confirmed by a steady increase in negative momentum. But we have seen the, the share price bounce back. And with that bounce back, we've seen a steady decline in negative momentum. So the, once again, the momentum is confirming the price movement. The price is pushing higher and selling momentum uh, is in decline. So we, we pushed higher here. We've managed to push, push north of the 100-day moving average and the 50-day moving average. And in fact, now we're actually clearly above the 50-day moving average. And if we continue to hold above the 50-day moving average at 386, it's likely that this, this, this upward move could continue. And should we push on higher from here, we could be looking at testing the, the recent highs of 416 or going beyond that to £4.39. If the market does, in fact, actually manage to turn lower on itself, the first area of support may come into play in around the 50-day moving average at £3.86. Notice how the 50-day moving average did manage to act as support uh, in the last couple of sessions and also recently here uh, at the beginning of the month. And also, once again, it acted as both support and resistance in December. So if a certain metric or indicator has, has a previous of acting as a support or resistance, it's more likely to do again so in the future. And, and, and speaking of that, similar with, with the 100-day with the moving average, if we do manage to break south of the 50-day moving average, at 386, we could be looking heading back down towards the 100-day moving average at 374. Once again, notice how it did manage to act as support on a couple of occasions in February. Granted, the, the market did manage to trade below the 50-day moving average, but it always, uh, uh, on this occasion, it managed to bounce back above it. This is actually a good example of actually, if you're looking at placing stops or limits, uh, it, it's always an idea to give yourself a little leeway or a wiggle room because the markets won't necessarily always stop it precisely on a certain metric. They could trade slightly, slightly beyond it or slightly short, or stop slightly short of it. If you do manage to uh, go south of the 100-day moving average, the next level to keep an eye out for, the kind of the, a bit of key level to watch out for, could be the, the February low of three pounds uh, eighty-five. If the February low is taken out, that could be a sign that we're looking that we're looking to to push lower further again. And if we go south of three eighty-five, we could be looking heading back down towards the Trinity moving average at three forty-seven. Once again, notice how the the market, the market traded slightly below the Trinity moving average back in. Back in December, we managed to push higher off of it again. That's all for me this week. Thank you very much.